Am I live? Hello everybody and <laughs> welcome to the Maasai Mara where I now find myself back again with Safari Live. My name is James Hendry and David is on camera. Now David has just thrown his, shown his thumb and well, uh, unlike last year, the very first thing I'm going to show you is a topi. And uh, we were banned from showing topi last year. Not really. Uh, we just didn't show you many of them because, well, the lions and crocodiles were murdering everything in sight, and that was just very exciting. And now, my first opportunity to talk about a topi, about which I know almost nothing. But it is very pleasant to see them, and I'm going to learn about them with you. Um, is there anything else of housekeeping I need to tell you? Hashtag Safari Live is how you get hold of us, exactly as it is uh, in... Juma or in the Sabi sand, but you know that it's just me that's slightly inexperienced with these multi feed drives that we do these days. So it's very good to be back. I hope you all have noticed uh, not only the topi and its magnificent coloration, uh, but also my new hat, which I think is rather spanky new and very fine. I bought it on the advice of Stefan Winterboer, who said that the sun here is very bright and will burn my small face and, most importantly, my very balding pate. And so I have got a nice, thick leather hat. Not made of topi leather, uh, probably a hapless cow. Now, um, I know so little about topi, other than how wonderful they are, that I can't tell you if that is a cow or a bull. Um, so let's examine it slightly more closely. And I think we're going to go with... Uh, no, they've all got horns, David. Um, I th Yes, thank you. If we could just go around to the back there. I think that's a, a lady. A lady, Toby? Mrs. Toby, yes. I think that's what we've got there. Good. We're not only here with Toby, of course, in the Mara. Every time you stop, you've got thousands of things around. Uh, we have some zebra over to that side. There they are. Hello, chaps. Uh, quite astoundingly, not standing in a grassland, but next to a wooden one of them actually rolling. Good grief, our cup runneth over, in fact, many cups. Now, we are not... We, what we're going to do now is roll forward, because just over this hill, naturally enough, there are some buffalo, and in fact, there was... Um, what I'm going to do... I'm just going to turn slightly so that David can point his camera up the hill. David, there is that buffalo. Do you see it? Now, that buffalo from the top of the hill looked to me like it had a very, very tiny baby with it, which I think is now behind. Now, this would be very strange given that there seem to be two buffalo bulls. No, there's a cow there. There's a very little bee, I can see it. There's a very little baby just to the left of the bull. There, you can just see the ears wagging. It's tiny, tiny, tiny. And there are apparently lions not far away from here. They're obviously not very close because I suspect the topi, uh, zebra, uh, other buffalo over the hill, and indeed the elephants that I'm hopefully shortly going to show you would have uh, scarpered at some stage, or the elephants would have done some damage to the lions. Now, what I was saying about uh, the sighting of the zebra, of course, is that it's on the fringes of a woodland, which over here is quite unusual, and I think these woodlands are the most glorious colours of green. Right. Let us continue down the hill, past this... Wonderful sighting of Topi, my favourite antelope, next to the Nyala, of course, which I know you were looking at with Baron. Good afternoon. Yes. No, oh, look at her. I mean, she's a beauty. Now, Liz, you say a dashing new hat. Yes, thank you, Liz. I thought so myself. When I picked it off the shelf and put it upon my head, I thought, hmm, I look a little bit like Indiana Jones on safari. I'm not sure that's a good thing. Here we go. Now, the lions, I'll show you where they were, and then I'll show you the beefies, hopefully, which are just over the knoll here. There we are. 
Fox Hat, the one question I can answer about Topi, you say what is the difference between them and Sesame? Uh, well, very little. They're actually just a different subspecies of the Sesame. And so they are Sesame, basically, just a different subspecies that's only found in East Africa. Well, now that's not quite a nice picture, isn't it, David? With the vast expanse of the Mara extending down to the south all the way to the Tanzanian border. That's what we've got going there. I think that's a beautiful picture. Yes, Debbie, I too am astounded by the sheer number of animals that we find here in the Mara. It is really quite spectacular, I must say. And I feel much privileged to be here and sharing it with you. And, of course, just enjoying it and learning, of course. I mean, I learned a little bit last year about it all, uh, but there is much to learn now. There's an enormous amount to learn now. And, well, I think we're on a, in for a great journey of discovery together, all of us. David, do you feel uh, that you're learning? Oh, yes. Oh, yes, says David. I bet he does. Gorgeous. And there we're just showing now up to the... Lost my microphone. And I'm back. I don't know what's happening there. How's that, David? Looks all right from this side. Um, the Ulo Lolo escarpment is what we've got up there, as you can see. And, uh, well, that's where we live. And I woke up this morning. Uh, we arrived very late last night, actually. Well, not very late, but quite late. It was dark. And Louise and I and Manu, who you will meet shortly, well, we arrived in the darkness. And it was just quite spectacular to wake up this morning because, of course, we hadn't seen what we were looking at then. Uh, to wake up this morning and we, you look basically from our tents exactly to where I'm sitting now into the rising sun. Absolutely spectacular. Right, we're going to continue our little exploration of this rather vast and spectacular place. And while we do that, we're going to hand you back over to the fine form of Ali, who I believe is looking at some of those things, but much closer.